Welcome back everyone to my data channel. Today I want to show you how to create a database and tables using Table Plus. So if you have watched my last video, you should have already installed Table Plus. If you haven't, make sure that you watch my video on how to install MySQL and Table Plus so you can follow along with us. Okay, so the first thing is we're gonna open up the software and you should see something that looks like this. Okay, so the way to create a database is you have to click this button here. It says show list database and it shows you all the databases that are currently in here. We need to create a new one, which is we just select the plus sign here. It says add new database. And we're going to name this. I'm going to call it college records because I'm going to show you right after what I'm going to create. And I will also post the Excel file on my GitHub so you can download it and just take a look at it. So after this, we say OK, and we are going to open it by double clicking. All right, after you created your database, we can continue and create our tables. Before though, I want to show you kind of like how the, the concept is that I want to create here. And I thought it would be helpful to create the tables on Excel to show you kind of like what the final result uh, should look like. I created five different tables, as you can see here. I created a students table, a grades table, activities, subjects, and student grades. This is exactly what we are going to do in SQL right now. And then at the end, we will join the tables so that you can see here, table number five, exactly what the grade ID means, subject ID. So. This table might not make sense to you right now because all you can see there is numbers. So that's why we are going to use SQL and you will be surprised how cool it is at the end. Okay, so to start, let me go back to table plus. And there are two ways now to create the tables. The first one is here on the bottom. It says plus and it says add new items. And it will automatically create a table. So we're just going to name this students. And next we are going to add columns. Okay, the first column is student ID. And please make sure that you follow along with the Excel file. So if you don't remember, you can just pull up the Excel sheet and enter the data as it is on there. Okay, so here I want to explain quickly what that means. So the column name is very simple. It's just the name of the column. Make sure that you don't have a space in between. That's just how programming, the programming language is much more simple if you keep it without spaces. Um, the data type, there are different data types. We are mostly focusing on integers, which is numbers. Okay, so you select number here because student ID is a number and is nullable means basically it asks you if you have to enter data here. And we say basically no, we want that this is not null ever. Okay, so we need to enter data here. Great. Um, next one, we do have number two which is the first name. And that one is a variable. And that is called varchar in SQL. We're just going to continue this for all of the columns. So you will see next to the varchar there is a number here. I don't know if you can see it, it's 255. What that means is that you can pass this 
column up to 255 characters. Phone number is next. Actually, it's just better if you take it from here. And activity ID. Great. So now you have all entered all of the uh, data here, or the columns actually, sorry about that. And the next thing I want to show you is how to create the table with the SQL query. Okay, so this column or this, this table here is done. So now I'm going to show you the second way. So I already started to write here the way we create tables with the SQL query, you use the create table command and you use here the name of the table. Okay, this one will be the name of your table. So if you want to call it differently, that's up to you. I just call it students. And next we use an open parenthesis and we pass here the column names. Okay, the same thing we just did using the the other way of creating the tables, we just do the same here. And what we do is we need to write here int, which is for integer. And we also specify the primary key on the student ID. The first name is a varchar, as I mentioned before. And you're just gonna put in the same information. Once you've finished putting in all your column names, you go to, you make sure that you close the statement with a close parenthesis and a semicolon. This is very important. It will show you an error message if you don't put in the semicolon. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you. It says here query one error, okay? So make sure that you use a semicolon. And now it says query one, okay. And it says zero rows affected. What that means is that they created a table, but you didn't enter anything yet. Um, if you want to take a look at how your table looks like, you must use this statement here. Select star from student semicolon. And if you run this command, you will see your uh, your table here. Okay. So this is these are two ways. Of creating tables on table plus there might be other ways um, I'm only familiar with these two and the next video I'm going to show you how to put data into our table also I would like to ask you to please create um, the other tables that I have here on the Excel sheet because we are gonna immediately jump into inserting values into our table in the next video. If you have any issues with creating tables, let me know and I will try to help you. Um, and hopefully you are tuning in uh, in our next video. I'm looking forward to it.